Hello and welcome to this draw along workshop with the Library of Nature. Today we're going to be drawing the Emperor Dragonfly, an amazing dragonfly that is found across Africa, parts of Asia and most of Europe. So let's begin by learning a little bit about them. The Emperor Dragonfly is a hawker dragonfly and it's one of the largest species of dragonfly in Europe. In the UK, they're only found in the south, but similar species include the common hawker, the four-spotted chaser, and many species of damselfly that you can find near you. The emperor dragonfly is very large, growing to nearly 8 centimetres long. All dragonflies have similar body shapes with a head, thorax, and segmented abdomen, which people often refer to as their tail. They have two pairs of transparent wings, with a forewing and a hindwing. They have pairs of jointed legs and they have two compound eyes. We call this their anatomy. The males which we're drawing today have a green thorax with a blue abdomen, while the females have an apple green thorax and an emerald body. Emperor dragonflies can be seen flying from June to August in the UK and they're usually found around ponds, lakes and canals. This is because the females lay their eggs on floating pondweed. They may also be seen flying high above the water, hunting for the insects they eat, which include even butterflies. A fascinating fact about dragonflies is that they spend most of their lives as larvae in the water that they were hatched in, and they're called nymphs at this stage. Emperor dragonflies are nymphs for up to two years, but for other dragonfly species it can be even up to five years. The dragonfly nymph will grow and molt many times before they emerge from the water. They'll climb up a plant for support and then they'll undergo part metamorphosis as their adult wings develop. They'll then only fly for around up to 80 days while they breed and lay eggs. So that part of their life where we see them flying is actually very short in comparison. How can we help them? One way to support these species is to protect the lakes and canals they live in from pollution, making sure that plastic and chemicals don't enter the water streams. It is estimated that over the last hundred years, a million ponds have been filled in, so we can also create ponds in our own gardens and parks if possible. Now we know about them, let's go on to draw an emperor dragonfly. You can pause the video if you need to gather your materials together. You will need plain paper, a pencil, a rubber, a ruler and some colouring materials. These could be colouring pencils, crayons or felt tip pens. To begin we're going to lay the paper out so it's landscape. That means that the longest sides are at the top and the bottom rather than at the sides. Now we need to carefully fold the paper in half, trying to get the corners to match up if we can. When we open this up, it will make a centre line that we can use to help us draw a picture that looks the same on one side as it does on the other. The word that we use for this is symmetrical. As we draw, we're going to draw each stage on one side and the other, which will help us to keep them looking the same. If it's difficult to see your folded line, you might want to use a ruler and very gently draw a line down the middle. I'm going to use a pencil for my drawing. This is called an HB pencil, which is the common type of pencil you'll find at school or in a stationary art set. You can get all sorts of different pencils that make different marks, but the HB is great for what we're doing today. And if you don't have one, any other pencil or dark coloured pencil is just fine. Our first pencil lines are going to be sketch lines. This means we're going to make a very light mark to begin with so we can work out where we want everything to go. And then nearer the end of our drawing we'll draw over these lines pressing a bit harder so the lines are clearer. So to begin today let's just practice making some very soft gentle lines on the back of our paper. One way to do this when you're drawing a long line is to split this into lots of smaller lines like this. And now let's start drawing our Emperor Dragonfly. To begin, let's draw a soft heart shape, so two curves at the top and then a big curve at the bottom. 
Next we draw an oval for the thorax. Look how it is more squared at the top and the bottom, it's not pointed. Now we draw a pointed oval for the base of the abdomen. And then this long tube shape ending in a U for the rest of the abdomen. Let's add two points for the end of the abdomen. These are called the cerci. And a small curve at the top to form the jaw shape. The next step is the wings. First we're going to draw the four wings. These are the pair of wings at the top of the thorax. So starting on the thorax, draw two big loops. To complete the wing shape, at the top of these loops, draw a large pointed curve like this. Now for the hind wings underneath. First we draw two shapes that are more like arches. They look like this. At the end of these, we add two large loops again. And we make these longer by adding two pointed curves. Our dragonfly has three pairs of legs. So that's six legs in total with three on each side. Every leg is jointed in three places as well. It's quite complicated, so let's break this down into simple steps. For the first pair of legs, we draw a small circle on each side of the body. We add a small sausage to each, then add another sausage shape to this. Then we add a long thin curve that ends in a point like this to create the end of the leg. And we repeat this for the second pair of legs. And then the third. The abdomen of the dragonfly is segmented. This means it has lots of different parts. I've drawn a segment of the top of my abdomen shape to show you. I actually split my abdomen into seven parts of different sizes. So you might want to pause the video here so you can look at my drawing as a guide. We then draw in the eye shape and rub out the extra lines we don't need anymore on the body. We now need to sketch in the veins of the wings, but let's get the drawing ready for this first. So first I'm going to rub out the lines that we don't need anymore. I'm rubbing out any of those lines we made on the inside of the wing and just leaving the outer shape that they created to look like this. I also added a band to the bottom of the head and an extra line to the jaws. Now we can draw in some lines to create details on the body shape. On this close-up you can see that there are some U-shapes all along the side of the thorax and also curved lines going across it. I've also drawn in two small circles at either side on the top of the abdomen. We'll now draw a long thin band running down the centre of the abdomen. Emperor dragonflies have quite a complicated pattern on their abdomen. To make this easier to draw, I'm going to show you the steps now, but don't worry about following these. I'm also going to then show you a close-up that you can copy. Here's the completed pattern. You might want to pause the video so you can add your own pattern to your drawing. That bit was really quite tricky, so well done if you added some patterns to your drawing. Now we can go on to our last drawing stage, which is drawing the wing veins in. We'll start on the forewings again. Draw a thin line at the top of the wing from the body to the wing edge, following that line shape. 
Now draw another line like this, but with a larger space between those lines. From this, we're going to add a smaller line, which makes a triangle shape. And now two more that look a bit like tree branches. They curve down and they stop at the bottom side of the wing. One more wobbly line from the body to the wing edge and a big loop going over this. The hind wing is very similar. So we start with a long line from the body to the wing edge, close at the top of the wing. We add another line further down on the wing and some curved shapes branching downwards. Adding the rest of the veins and wing membranes is up to you. They are very complicated as you can see. If you would like to do this, there's a link below where you can download a larger picture to help you. The most important thing to add are the wing spots which you find along the top of each wing. Now our Emperor Dragonfly drawing is complete. If you would like to, you can colour yours in so it has the same colours which make the Emperor Dragonfly so beautiful. I've coloured the wing spots black and legs black and then coloured in the pattern on the abdomen with black too. The eyes are blue with a lighter green for the jaws. For the thorax, I used a combination of blue and green coloured pencils to create different shades of green, blue and turquoise. And the abdomen is a bright, brilliant blue colour with a little bit of green at the very end. There are also yellow lines along the edges of the wings and some yellow highlights on the body. If you would like to, you can pause the video here to use as a guide while you do your own colouring. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I really hoped you enjoyed drawing your Emperor Dragonfly. Please let us know if you have any other animals you'd like us to make a draw along video for. You can find more nature inspired art activities at the Library of Nature website, www.thelibraryofnature.com.